Hebrews 10, the apostle again repeats the new covenant, the covenant of God placing his laws in our minds and writing them on our hearts. The, the covenant of God promising to remember our sins and our misdeeds no more. God says, I will not even think of them. I will not remember them. And then he comes to these words in verse 19. He says, therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way, which he opened for us through the curtain, that is through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us then consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. The words of assurance are repeated over and over and over. God forgets your iniquities and doesn't remember your sins. God says you can come with full assurance of faith to his throne. You can draw close to him today. And then he says, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get together and I want you to come together and I want you to encourage each other. I want you to remind each other that the God of the universe has forgotten your faults and your failures and that he embraces you and loves you fully. And hang on to that without wavering. Hang on to that God that will hang on to you and never let you go.